What up? This is Rama Screen, and in the anticipation of Hell Hath No Fury arriving in theaters November 5 and on digital November 9, I'm here talking with one of the stars of this new film, Daniel Bernhard. How are you, Daniel? I'm good. How are you doing, my friend? Good, 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 my friend. The last time we spoke was for Skyline, which was a completely different genre from Hell Hath No Fury. <laughs> yeah, very different, huh? In this one, uh, you don't get to do roundhouse kicks on this one. Uh, but, you get to play... no. <laughs> but you get Nothing. to play a baddie, a baddie were you, named Von were you, huh? were you disappointed that there were no roundhouse kicks? I was a little bit <laughs> The 40s, you know, <laughs> I, I, was, I was looking forward to Von Bruckner doing some kind of, uh, I don't know, martial arts stuff, man. <laughs> well, you know, um, I got to tell you this. Yeah. Uh, it was an amazing experience. Mm. I got a call from Jesse saying, hey, Danny. So Jesse and I met through friends yeah. a long, long time ago, and we just kind of hit it off. And we really liked each other. We started talking about movies and stories and filmmaking, but we never talked about a very particular project. So we just kind of met and we started chatting and we were like, hey, you know, one day it'd be fun if we could work together. Months go by, I get a call and he says, hey, listen, I got this script. It was called, it had a different title. Um, and he goes, I really want you to read it. I think this is a great part for you. And I said, all right, cool. I read it, I go like, damn. <laughs> That is a real, and he goes, look, there's no fighting. I mean, I shoot a gun and there's a little bit of action, but he said, it's a really juicy part. And he was absolutely right. He said, you got to speak German. You got to speak French. You got to speak English with a German accent. I said, man, I'm in. I mean, that was a real, I was like, it's like a real movie. It's like a real acting thing. And I was so excited. So Super excited. When you're doing a role like that, that doesn't require martial arts, does it feel like a refreshing or like a taking a break sort of thing? You know, I have to say it was, it was really fun because, you know, I went to drama school for many, many years. I mean, I've been in acting class for 15 years mm. and I love acting, but somehow, you know, the parts I play always kind of lean more towards action, but then I do acting. I mean, in, in Skylines, I had a lot of acting as well, but this particular movie is very special to me. It's a small indie movie, but I think Jesse absolutely killed it in this movie. I mean, what he did, you saw it, I assume. Yes. What do you think? I love that. It was gritty. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. He, he took his time with the story. He took his time with the drama. I have this amazing um, storyline with... Uh, with the leading lady. I mean, it was just with Marie. It was just Marie. It was just unbelievable. Yeah. And she was unbelievable in the movie. She killed it. She nailed it. She slayed that movie. Louis Mendelor was amazing. I mean, Tim was amazing. I mean, I thought, I thought um, Jesse's gift is really how he puts the cast together. Mm -hmm. He finds the right person for every part. And he's a great director. Yeah, I'm a big fan of uh, war movies in general. This one's very gritty, very very raw, very hardcore, and I very much enjoyed it. But uh, so was that actually, like you said that you had to learn uh, to speak German and French and English with German accent. How, how hard was that process for you or did that come natural? Das war nicht sehr einfach für mich, weil ich spreche Deutsch. That sounds awesome. <laughs> well, I'm Swiss, born and raised. Ah, that's right. You know? So I'm Swiss, born and raised. My mother tongue is German. So I speak German, but I have a slight accent. So I'm fluent in German, but I have a slight accent. So I had to work on my dialect a little bit. Then speaking English with a German accent, I had to work a little bit on my accent, just a little bit, you know, bring it back a little bit. And, uh, and then the French, I used to live in Paris when I was younger and I was fluent. I lived seven years in Paris, but I lost a lot, unfortunately. So I had to actually work on the French and he had me do a monologue, um, a Victor Hugo monologue, and it was difficult. Mm. And I couldn't get it. I was like, Arr! it was really hard. It took me wow. a long time. Well, it sounds like your life experiences have led you to this moment. It's like destiny, man. That's awesome. Especially for I, languages. I think it was, and, and again, you know, that's where Jesse, and, and I got to give him a lot of credit. He never read me. 
He just gave me the gig. He never said you have to audition. I mean, I could have been like, uh, you know, and he trusted me and I trusted him. And I think he slayed it. And I'm very, 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 very proud of the movie. And I'm very excited for it to come out. Now, the design or the look for your character, you know, with the scar on the face and that uh, mustache, intimidating mustache. And the, of course, the uniform, that staggering uniform. I imagine playing a role of a Nazi on the screen comes with a degree of trepidation because of the history and the symbols that, that, that it represents. Uh, what mm. was it like for you to step into Von Bruckner's shoes for the first time on the set? And what type of research did you have to do beyond what's on the script? Um, I did a lot of um, I did a lot of reading about it. I did a lot of research online. I read a lot of books. I watched a lot of documentaries, war movies. Um, I really, really dove in deep. And my history, it's I'm I'm very interested in that time period. I love war movies. I've watched every war movie, like like probably like yourself. Um, I it was just a really, really fun, it was a fun experience. I mean, I spent probably, I would say two months preparing for this role. It, it really two months it took because I didn't have to go to, I mean, I, I went to the gym and trained, but I, I had to more mentally prepare. I, I, I watched a lot of documentaries. I did a lot of reading about it. So it was a really, and also, you know, if you look at the story, I'm playing an SS officer who's actually stealing from the Nazis mm -hmm. because I got, I fell in love with a French resistance fighter mm -hmm. and I wanted to escape with her. Mm -hmm. But of course, I got tricked, you know, <laughs> don't want to say too much, but I would really recommend for people to watch the movie. I'm very proud of it. I'm very um, proud to be part of it. I think it's really exciting. And, you know, people got to give that movie a chance. Uh, I haven't had the chance to interview Nina. Looking forward to it. I know you grazed on, uh, on her a little earlier, but can you yeah. elaborate a little further about uh, what was it like working with Nina? Because she looks tough as nails in this film. And, uh, uh, yeah. What was it like collaborating with her with her on this film? She was absolutely fantastic. And I remember when she showed up um, at the reading, because at the time, um, she just came to the reading. Hmm. She didn't have the job yet. She just came and filled in to read. And I looked at Jesse and I said, she's incredible. Because in me, she's a very good actress. She studies, like, you know, like myself, I've been in drama school for years and years and years. And I remember when she showed up, she had a folder this thick. I had a folder this thick. And I looked over and she had notes. I had notes. And when we read, she didn't know that I was playing Von Bruckner. So when I looked over, I said, oh, hi, I'm playing Von Bruckner. She said, oh, she looked at me. And when we were reading, I looked over at her because when I, when I do a, re when we do a read through, I have to connect with the other actor. And especially mm -hmm. our scenes were so emotional and um, that I had to look at her and we had an immediate connection and she's a very, very strong actress. So helped me a lot you know, made me better. And, um, but the same with Lewis, I think Lewis was fantastic. If you look at that scene at the end, when the three of us have to stand up, that's a cool scene. Yes. And then of course, Timothy uh, Murphy, he's a very, got a great look, great actor. Um, also Dominique was, I thought Dominique was really good. Vanderlo was really good in that movie. I mean, it's just Jesse again, you know, he picked some very, very cool characters in this film. You know, I can't let you go without asking you this one final question. Sure, sure. Yeah. Otherwise, my fans will be angry at me. Who sure. is your character, Agent Johnson, in The Matrix Resurrection? Well, I, I, we're not allowed to comment, to, <laughs> to comment about it. But what I can tell you is, I can only tell you what's online. You know, okay. I'm playing Agent Johnson, which I've played. It's the same character I've played in uh, Matrix Reloaded. I was very, very blessed um, uh, when Lana came to 8711, where I train, you know, I'm part of the team and Chad is a very good friend of mine. And she came by, they were doing pre and concepts and training. Keanu was training and uh, she came by and she saw me. She goes, Oh my God, Daniel. Oh my God. And she invited <laughs> me to come back and do matrix four. I have a little cameo. It's, I cannot wait for it to come out. I mean, you saw the trailer. Yes. Well, the thing is, Daniel, it's been 17 years since Reloaded and Revolutions. So how exciting do you think the fans will be to return to that world once again? Is it a similar or different matrix than what they remember? I, you know what? I can't comment on that, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but I think people will be blown away. What I've seen is beyond. I think people will just be like, 
oh my god this is incredible i mean she's a genius you know she's fantastic she's unbelievable well to my fans at home i tried i tried people <laughs> you, <laughs> well, you can't, can't say i didn't try <laughs> i mean i can't you know i can't you have to sign these kind of numbers for us. <laughs> totally understandable daniel totally right. fair <laughs> this is a big season for you hell had no fury red notice and the matrix resurrection all arriving within this, these last few months of 2021 so daniel thank you for talking to me good to see you again my friend and as always congratulations thank you so much i really appreciate it